I don't know about you, but the view of the moon tonight, no matter where you are, absolutely stunning. You're looking at our view from home of economy location in Devil's Lake, and I want to point out the orangish hues to the strawberry moon uh, caused by all the particulates in the atmosphere. It's when it's first rising or it's it's setting and light from the moon has to go through so many more thousands and thousands of miles of atmosphere. It bends more oranges and reds in our way. Just absolutely stunning. Sit back with some of your favorite strawberry shortcake and enjoy the view. <sighs> Reminding you a few tips to keep cool. Finding shade is always important. It's about 15 degrees cooler in shady spot versus a sunny one. Please do not forget to check your back seat of your vehicle for kids or pets. And remember, if you do overheat, a cold shower, an ice bath can really help to lower that body's core temperature. And you need to do those things quickly in emergency situations. Low 80s still up and down the Red River Valley. Roseau 77, 75 in Jamestown this hour with 82 for you in Grand Forks. Lakes country, what a great weekend to be at the lakes. Not much wind, a couple of thunder showers here and there. Temperatures sizzling. That cool water must feel good on the old toes. Here's a look at a few remnant thunder showers right now uh, spreading their way through that uh, Cavalier County area right now. Langdon, Walhalla and places like that still seeing a few rumbles. Such slow movers that again these are dumping in very small locales. Heavy amounts of rain totaling upwards of a couple of tents. As we headed into the nighttime hours the clouds have well broken apart so that we can get the great view of that awesome moon out there. Let's put up the current conditions for the FM area. It's 80 degrees at Hector, 81 still at Moorheads Airport, and your wind is not blowing whatsoever. It's calm. Here's a look at your forecast. Temperatures tonight will sneak out of the 80s into the 70s, and in some of us 60s, our thunder shower chances if we have any at all, we'll kind of be a hit and miss up near the international border. Patchy fog again possible across our area to start the day. Can't rule out a morning shower. Temperatures 65 to 70 across the board. That is a real high starting point for our day once again for the second straight day. Meaning with the sunshine and the light winds, we're going to see temperatures soaring back into the, the heat of the summertime sizzle 90s likely. Keep in mind, Wherever one of these pimples of a thunderstorm for, uh, pop up, rather difficult to forecast the precise location of where that's going to happen. But let's say one happens over Fargo or Grand Forks. It's going to cut our temperatures a little bit short of the forecast amounts. But hit and miss thunderstorms, most prominent in our northern Minnesota counties in the Northern Valley. Watch what happens as we go through the afternoon. You can almost see a little cooler pool sloshing back out of Canada. That's going to well, work its way into our area as we continue through the forecast period. More on that in a second. 70 first thing in the morning. We're going to be near 90 all the way from midday into sunset hours. I think the chances for thunder are pretty low here in the Southern Valley. It's run through the sprinkler weather on your Sunday. Turn it on. Have a little bit of fun. Hutch loves looking at these cumulus clouds and you share your photos and I come up with a name for these clouds once in a while like this one here. I want to call the cumulus burpus muchus. Kendra, thanks for sharing your Ellendale, North Dakota shot. Now a look at your proceed farming forecast. Hot sizzle, spotty thunderstorms Sunday. We keep it hot on Monday with a few more storms. That cool pool sloshes back into the valley briefly. Then we warm right back up for the remainder of the work week. However, the upcoming weekend on the 10th and 11th, we start to get back to more reasonable and seasonal type weather. It's going to be nice. I'm excited about it. I'm good. I keep submitting my photos to you, but you never choose them. Oh. Well, oh, we wow. get a lot, Reed. <laughs> I, you got to change your name. I've got, I'll change. <laughs> I, I can do that. Thank you, Hutch. With the first Republican debate on the way, we bring you an idea of what to expect after the break. Stick with us. <laughs> 